Good morning to a brand new video and a video from Tampa. As you saw previous clips, we just landed yesterday evening, guys. Instantly upon landing, I just left my stuff. I needed to do 45 minutes of a cardio. And I did a little bit of arms and shoulders. I wanted to do a full workout, but I was absolutely <laughs> exhausted waking up so early. So pretty much after that, ate my last meal, went to the bed pretty early. Now it's pretty early, it's seven in the morning. I woke up after the flight, which usually you hold a little bit of water, right? But uh, I woke up by far, by far the lightest, leanest, driest. Really, really surprising to be honest. So we got the coffee. If you know Alex, Alex is hooked on a Vava. Vava is the goat. They have like a hazelnut coffee, French vanilla, uh, blueberry cobbler it's flavored but it's black coffee so I can still drink it there is nothing inside it's just flavored coffee but it's pure black which is five calories normal we don't have that in, in LA so I can only drink a black coffee so actually this changes the game because it does taste as good uh, you, if, you, if you just add stevia inside like it will be perfect I can't but it's still way better than a normal one so I definitely love Vava coffee when I'm on prep Starbucks is still the best but Vava on the prep slabs. Also, uh, I got myself uh, on the while I was here already a gallon of a water because we are on two gallons. It is really difficult to count these little ones. I have like 13 of these per day, and I get lost over the time. But I just wanted to tell you a plan. We need to drive back home. We kind of did a check-ins with Alex, but I think I'm gonna do it uh, in front of you again because. I feel we do have a high day today, but I think Alex said that it's not gonna be a normal high day. I feel like already today we might get a pancakes and some refeed because your boy's dropping weight extremely fast. Today's guys, first day of a peak week. Peak week has begun. So I'm gonna film you the first day of the peak week. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of food, uh, maybe a little bit of a workout i have a bag day today alex has a chest i think but i will film a workout for you as well because we are going to mi40 show you the full day of eating and that's how we're gonna start this uh peak week in just a couple of days you're already flying to charleston i'm gonna keep you updated over here I'm gonna have as many as possible videos whenever some adjustments is here i'm gonna have a new video so with that said i'm gonna drink my coffee in a piece back check in with alex see what's the plan today and let you know Look how much open I am right now. Yeah, you just gotta make sure it doesn't overly flatten your chest out. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to like, he just thought, he was just pushing my hip all the time, like this part. It was just like, he was, as long as you just hide that and then try to like. Yeah, that's when you're flattening your chest out though. It's gonna just sit in your stomach. I don't, but I just don't know how it's not now. I'm just saying, body wise for me is not a problem. Only to, if you think like he's gonna, you know. No, but this is why we're doing this now. Do you like cream rice? 
Yeah, I was actually wondering why we don't. I mean, I like cream of rice. I don't need it so much because compared volume wise, all milk cream of rice is different, right? Is different. So, but that's why I like. I feel like deeper carving up, maybe cream of rice would be better than that. I would prefer cream of rice. Yeah, no, that's not a problem, of course. So you're gonna get more food. So we're gonna give you add 60 grams of cream of rice in meal one. This is gonna be on your your saturation day. So the, the one is 32.40, not not 29. So it's already. So you're getting more on top of your already saturation day. Um, so you're gonna have. 60 grams of cream of rice added to the plan, increasing oatmeal just, or I'm sorry, uh, peanut butter just from 24, or 18 grams of 24 in meal two and three, keeping carb sources the same there, and then 80 grams of cream of rice in your last meal, which in itself is more carbs. But now I'm just focusing on digestion. Just like that guys, you heard Alex, we are in the backyard, we are about to eat the first meal of the day, I'm really hungry, so I'm just gonna keep this pretty brief because I'm really starving, I was waiting for them to finish the meal, but from today, yeah, you saw the morning check-ins, from today we are pretty much starting to eat, probably no more cardio and probably from this point more and more food. We definitely uh, raise the carbs by adding the cream of rice instead of like a bread and stuff like that just by adding cream of rice more and swapping for our oatmeal and stuff like that so we have a 200 grams of an egg whites we have a 50 grams of a spinach 70 grams of avocado we have a 300 grams of uh, potatoes that look beautiful with one whole egg on this plate and we have a 80 grams of uh, cream of rice which probably not gonna be so tasty because there is no flavorings or anything. We only have uh, three salt packets per each meal and we have uh, two of these to drink today. So that's gonna be for this meal, guys. Calories and macros are gonna be right now on the screen, so you know. Every day, every meal is pretty much higher. So I'm gonna need to eat this fast because pretty soon we're gonna be leaving uh, for our gym after probably my second meal or hopefully third meal. I would like to have three meals before we leave, so I kinda need to speed these things up a little bit uh, I'll see you on the meal number two let the games begin my brain doesn't work I'm really hungry so I just want to dive in catch you later all right guys firstly I apologize for the how I look and everything I've been editing and uh, just making my videos throughout the whole day and I also need to be pretty quiet because Alex is currently taking a nap before the gym so with that said I'm gonna show you the pre-workout meal that I'm making right now and I already post workout meal because after pre-workout we are going to gym it's quite a bit of drive and we have a high day so I don't want to leave shorter space in between my meals when I'm eating higher food so that's already prepared also but let me show you over here the final product is gonna be on the, uh, how it's gonna look like on the screen but we have for our pre-workout 300 grams of potatoes they are in an air fryer right now 50 grams of a lettuce 142 grams of a 937 beef gonna be a pre-workout meal lettuce beef and uh, potatoes oh i think i also have a oh yeah i have a peanut butter on a pre-workout meal as well my apologies yeah we do have a 24 grams of a peanut butter in the pre-workout meal as well and then in the post workout as well as you can see here we have a 300 grams of our rice guys which is quite a bit i just made it fresh brand new as you can see we have a 142 grams of our chicken breast we have a 80 grams of asparagus that is in the air fryer right and also even in a post workout meal we have a 24 grams of a peanut butter just to slower digestion because i'm depleted my body is absorbing the food extremely efficient post workout meal i'm gonna show you in the gym after the gym because i'm gonna heat it up after we're done with the workout and then show you the calories and macros for that meal we have a five meals a day so this is three out of five we also have a bag day i have a bag day so i'll probably film a couple of clips for you but uh yeah this is the plan sit right now enjoy the meal and uh go to the gym
Okay, though, guys, as you can see, your boy is pretty much ready for the gym. Alex woke up a little bit later, uh, so with that said, we are running. Not later, I don't mind, because I'm here, I'm chilling, I'm just listening to what Alex said. For me, it's right now just, uh, we don't even have cardio anymore, so for me, pretty much just chilling, eating the meals, and now we need to put a hardcore workout, because we don't have a lot more workouts, and we do have a lot of food today, so we gotta utilize it, and I have bag, so I will bring you with me. Uh, just to see a couple of access because MI40 is a really cool gym. They have a different back machines. I don't have my belt, but it is what it is. We're trying to we're gonna try to push without it. But with that said, I'm editing already. Your boy's working on your videos as much as I can, as much as I can. I'm trying to immediately edit the next video, next video, etc. As far as concern, concern gallon of water, gallon is already down. Literally whole one. So as you can see, I refilled it. And we only have one more, which is great, before the gym having already a gallon, and I'm peeing a lot so far. Uh, also, my pre-workout, this shaker inside is uh, full of coffee. That's literally my pre-workout. Just a black coffee, Starbucks, no. It's just a cold brew out of the bottle. So I fill it with the full, I don't know how much that can be, 200, 300 milligrams of a caffeine. But what I wanted to tell you before we leave to the gym, because Alex woke up a little bit later, but uh, I will eat like a half of this, not even half, probably a little bit less than a half because as I said, I want to spread my meals around and since you're already running late and I just ate like hour ago, hour and a half ago, I eat the last meal, I'll just try to eat like a little bit as a like pre-workout kind of snack and then the rest of the full meal I'm going to eat after the gym so I'll show you that and calories and macros for this meal but right now uh, we are leaving in like 15 minutes so I'll probably catch you in a MI40 gym for us. some a juicy back workout, check the pump, back home, eat the meals, go to sleep.
don't remember you having that look like at chest. Ryan. Yeah, that's it. That's I need to take a picture of that though later. Look how damn that's a piece of Oh I can see my back. Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, even that. See like this? I can never had that. Oh yeah. I never had yeah, that. Like see? That. Yeah. I never had those like that snakes like that I hold. Oh yeah, no, my bag is broken. It's not there yet, like it's not a like, pro bag, but in, in, for three months off yeah. season. My favorite spot here in Tampa, as you can see, your boy shower up based on the hair. So we pretty much finished that workout. It was a pretty solid workout, even though I didn't have a pump because, like I said, I was supposed to have three meals, not two. Unfortunately, we didn't have. I had a half of that meal before, and then uh, you know we didn't even digest properly. But I had a pretty good workout, and uh, we were pretty high weight, so that's not a problem at all. Uh, and with so much water that we are drinking right now and with so much carbs it's still really dry so obviously that's a good sign in the car I didn't film that because I forgot totally but I had the half of that meal then now uh, on my favorite spot kind of winding down it's almost 7 p.m. and we have a uh, one more meal after this trying to finish the day before 9 300 grams again of a potatoes which I absolutely love that's my favorite carb source on a, on a prep and then we have on other plate 142 grams of uh, 93 v7 beef and uh, 80 grams of asparagus also with that i made myself this tea which is basically turmeric and uh, smooth something like a, for a digestion tea so i just took that one too because i'm still gonna drink one more before the bed my usual chamomile lavender to sleep also only half of the gallon has been left for a pretty much whole day so we're gonna definitely finish that Calories and macros for this meal on the table. I'm gonna be listening on the screen. I'm just gonna watch a little bit of YouTube. Then I'm gonna edit the video. And then we have a last meal today, which I'm gonna show you. Just to start the peak week in this way, let's just say. if you can see me or not and if you can hear me because I just wanted to say this is me time peace time but something is buzzing all around my head right now it's currently 9 p.m. which is not bad finishing that time so from tomorrow I'm definitely gonna need to start eating a little bit earlier now I know uh, so we have three meals before the gym that will be way better I'm starting refeed usually really early this time probably even earlier and I don't think we're gonna take foot off of the gas from this point I really think that we're gonna just whole peak we just eat more and more food I don't think there is gonna be no no more cardio as I said we kind of want to risk it in a way try to put me as heavier as I can if you know if you compete how you look after the show when you have a cheat meal that's what we're trying kind of to achieve so we'll see if that's gonna work but the last meal is pretty pretty nice meal I'm not gonna lie uh, even though maybe it's not the highest in the volume but I'm definitely gonna enjoy this if you don't trust me we have uh, all the food everything is here so what we have uh, is uh, 80 grams of uh, rice instead of uh, oatmeal, so more carbs, less volume pretty much. Uh, we have uh, 24 grams, I think, of peanut butter, which I put uh, together with the salt packets, three salt packets and uh, peanut butter in a cream of rice, so that's gonna be fire, trust me. Like after this diet, I think that's probably gonna be my favorite meal. Then we have a uh, hundred grams of uh, frozen blueberries, which I put on the side, and then look guys, I have this little fork which has cream of rice on it, but I poke each one individually so it takes me longer because it's frozen, so it's actually a little hex on the prep, right? My tea, chamomile lavender, helps me sleep. I, maybe it's placebo, I don't know, but it works. And then you saw me mixing in. We actually still have a protein powder and it's another butter ghost, which we were, we, we were using throughout the whole prep. So it's not bad, but instead of putting in a cream of rice, I put it together with my water, which I'm almost done, so that this counts as well. Uh, and I made uh, 
made of protein powder so that water also goes easier down so pretty much guys right now this i enjoy this time this is my time as i said only thing it's a little bit humid so maybe i'm not the sharpest right now in the frame not a little bit it's really humid since i came here i've been barely breathing so i hope i'm gonna be able to hold those poses on the stage easier after this for sure um, i turn on youtube i eat this really slow and then pretty much after that today actually i'm gonna go for a 10 minute walk after this meal and then just pass out so uh there's the plan also tomorrow is six days out guys and um i don't want to film it because i really want one day i just came and i'm already stressing to film for you guys everything called adjustments so one day i definitely want to kind of skip and just relax and not to film but alex said this morning if we wake up tomorrow around the same weight as we were or even lower then it's gonna be a like this day today plus pancakes etc etc so pretty much cheat day tomorrow <laughs> so if that happens by any case or something i will obviously show you that and then we're gonna walk you through again full day of eating i guess just updating you what's going on so you guys can actually see and i also as i said like to keep this as a di diary so when i compete and i like to see what i was doing five days out four days out etc so if you don't like it don't watch it but uh I like it for myself as well, I like to film it, I like to post it for you guys. So maybe each video from this peak week is gonna be filmed. In that case, not everything is gonna be on time because I'm editing and filming by myself. Only show days editing and filmed uh, by someone else. So with that said, my meal is, my blueberries are melting and meal is getting cold. So calories and macros for this whole day, starting of the peak week, seven days out, probably not gonna go under this, your boy can eat, hopefully. It will fill me up. Hopefully, we're gonna step on the stage heavy as that heavy we ever been, and hopefully, we're gonna battle at least for top three or something. You know, that will be really nice. But we will see. God's plan. Thank you guys. Love you guys. See you very soon as always on the next one, which might be just about tomorrow.